everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. Today, I have a very fun book all about back to school and kindness. I know a lot of you are heading back to school this month or maybe next month, and even maybe a lot of you might be going into kindergarten. <gasps> My friends, thumbs up if you are going into kindergarten. And if you're not going into kindergarten, what grade are you going into this year? Well, guess what? Even if you're not going into kindergarten, this is a great book for any age and any back to school story because what it's really about is about being kind. And we know that kindness matters every day. All right, my friends. Well, give me some sparkle fingers if you're ready to get started. Excellent. Let's begin. The title of today's interactive read aloud is kindergarten and so you realize this is kind of a fun way to say like kindergarten i said kindergarten because i see the letters k i n d in different colors and that spells the word kind and i know that this book is all about kindness because down here it says where kindness matters every day so kindergarten where kindness matters every day or kinder garden kindergarten has the word kind in it even though this sound is a little different. All right, so remember, even if you're not in kindergarten, this is a great book to start off the year. And if I'm looking over here, I see that the words are by, so the author is Vera Ahia, and the pictures are by Joey Chu, the illustrator. So we have an author and illustrator. Authors write all the words in the book. Illustrators draw all of the pictures. And what do you notice going on here on the cover illustration? Right, I see a lot of young children here, right? And there seems to be like the little one in the center. Maybe the story is all about this child right here. And they look, how do they feel right now? They look super happy and it looks like they're in school. Oh, you might have seen something fall out of the book because there's a fun craft I've got to show you at the end of the story. All right, let's go ahead and begin. This is Leo. Leo is quiet. He likes to read in quiet, play games in quiet, and even dance in quiet. My friends, are you like Leo and you also like to do things in quiet? Are you more loud than Leo? I'm kind of in the middle. I sometimes like quiet things, but sometimes I like loud too. He likes to talk to his mom and dad, papa, grandmommy, and tulip. Ooh, but Leo likes to be quiet with everyone else, right? So it sounds like he really likes to talk to his family and people he knows, but maybe around other people he doesn't talk so much. Today, Leo is worrying about his first day of kindergarten. Why is Leo worried? <gasps> because a letter just arrived from his new teacher. What do you think that letter says? Oh, and here is our cover page, my friends. But the cover page is kind of combined with part of this story. So here's the letter from the teacher. Here's also the title of our book, Kindergarten or Kindergarten, Where Kindness Matters Every Day. Dear Leo, my name is Miss Perry, says the teacher. I will be your kindergarten teacher this year. On our first day, we will talk about how we are going to make our kindergarten into a kinder garden. So please come ready to share some ways you know how to be kind. This year will be filled with new and exciting adventures. We will learn so much together. I can't wait to meet you. Love, your teacher. So what is Leo's job to do before the first day of school? He already has homework. What does he have to do? Think of some ways to be kind. Do you have any ideas before even starting our story? Oh, those are some good ideas. For the next two weeks, Leo thinks about Miss Perry's letter every day. I don't want new and exciting adventures, he says to his dad. What do I know about kindness, he asks Tula. I don't want to share anything with a new class, he whispers to Grandmommy. So how is Leo feeling about this assignment, this job to find some kind things to share? A little nervous, right? Doesn't really want to share. Oh, but on the first day of school, Miss Perry greets Leo with a smile. Welcome, Leo, she says. Are you ready for your first day of kindergarten? <gasps> Leo's heart goes, Babu, Babu, Babu. <gasps> Can you try that with me, my friends? Babu, Babu, Babu. And if his heart's going, Babu, Babu, how is he doing? Maybe scared, anxious, nervous. Ooh. But he nods, and then he whispers, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I understand how you feel, Leo, and any time we do something new, it can feel scary, Miss Perry says. Let's make a plan. If you feel worried, just let me know. We can figure out what to do together. Now let's go into the classroom and I'll introduce you to a new friend. So it sounds like Miss Perry is super helpful. Leo already likes Miss Perry, but he still feels worried. Who's this? Maybe his new friend? Leo, meet Lanisha, Miss Perry says. Hi, Lanisha says, looking up from a city she has been building out of blocks. But just as she looks up, oh, crash! Uh-oh. Oh no, Lanisha says. The sound of the crash is loud and Leo wants to run to a safe, quiet corner of the room. But instead, he makes himself stay right where he is. And what does he start to do? He is helping Lanisha pick up the scattered pieces. As Lanisha and Leo finish cleaning up the blocks, Miss Perry calls the students to join her on the carpet. Well, that was a very kind thing, Leo. Did right. Hello again, everybody, says Miss Perry. Let's start by talking about the letter I sent each of you. Today we are going to make a kindness pledge. We'll write down the different things we can do to make our kindergarten classroom a kinder garden. Who wants to start? So a pledge, my friends, is like a promise. Like I promise to do something. So they are going to write down some ways to be kind and take a pledge and make a promise that they're going to really try their best to be kind. I know we talked about it at the beginning, my friends, but what would you add to the kindness pledge? Nice. Leo feels nervous. What if Miss Perry calls on him? Luckily, she calls on one. I raised my hand to share. I think that's the way to be kind. One is half joking, half serious. Everyone giggles. You are right, Juan, Miss Perry smiles. It's kind to raise our hands before sharing. A girl in front is bouncing up and down. Yes, Chelsea? I say nice words to my friends like please and thank you or I love the way you do that cat. Nice words are the best words, agrees Miss Perry. Let's add that to our pledge. So we got two things. Raise your hand and use nice words. After adding a few more ideas to the kindness pledge, Miss Perry announces, it's time to move our bodies. Let's take a tour of the school. So a tour, they're going to go around and see all the different places in the school. Where do you notice that they went to visit, my friends? Let's see. Books, the library. This looks like the nurse over here. Let's take a tour of our school. And remember, as we explore, to keep looking for ways to be kind so we can add them to our kindness pledge. The first stop is a small office. Leo likes nurses Melissa's round face and big smile. <laughs> right next door is the library. When Leo sees a whole row of books about space, his heart does a happy dance. He loves planets. Leo wonders where they'll go next. <gasps> Ooh, where are they now? The gym. The gym is the biggest room by far. PE teacher Miss Lauren has a question for the class. Does anyone have any ideas about ways we can show kindness in PE class? Many hands fly into the air. What are your ideas, my friends? How can you be kind during PE? Nice ideas. It's kind to ask others to play with you. Cheers, Ronaldo. It's kind not to leave anyone out, Hannah chimes in. If you see someone fall down, help them up, suggests Naomi. Those are excellent ideas, says Miss Perry. Let's go back to the classroom and add them to our kindness pledge. After lunch, the class heads outside for recess. On the way, Leo nearly trips. Oh no, he thinks looking down, how can I be ready for kindergarten when I don't even know how to tie my shoes? Do you know how to tie your shoes, my friends? Yes or not yet? Well, if you do, awesome. And if you don't, you have time to learn. Just then, Miss Perry appears at his side. May I? She bends down to fix his laces and speaks to him softly. Leo, she says, I know you will have fun at recess, but sometimes it can get noisy out there. Could I introduce you to a few friends who I think you'll have fun with? Leo nods. Miss Perry introduces Leo to Mason, Marcus, and Emmy. The new friends say hello, and Marcus offers Leo some chalk. Oh, so why do you think Miss Perry introduced him to these friends? Maybe because they're drawing. It's kind of more of a quiet activity. After recess comes art class, Miss Page greets the students. Welcome to the studio, friends. Today you will draw pictures to decorate your kindness pledge. Please feel free to use any of the materials. Oh, and what do you notice, friends, are drawing? 
so many fun things. Leo's classmates spread out and get straight to work, but Leo isn't sure where to sit or what to create. At home, he loves to draw. He even knows how to draw the entire solar system. But kindness? He's not sure how to draw that, my friends. What would you draw for kindness? Those are some good ideas. When the students get back to the classroom, Miss Perry says, Our kindness pledge is looking great. But before we leave for the day, let's add a few more. Did you see any examples of kindness today? So let's see what they have so far. Kindness pledge. Raise a hand to share. Use kind words. Stay in your own body space or don't be touching nobody. Take turns. Include others when we play. Remember, we don't say, you can't play. What can you say instead of that, my friends? Sure, you can play with us. If someone falls down, help them back up. Say sorry when you make a mistake. Lucy speaks first. Can we add cleaning up our mess to the list? She says, I think that's important. It's very important to be clean, right? Yes, very good, Lucy. Anyone else? What else did you see? Miss Perry scans the room and Leo shuts his eyes, hoping it will make him invisible. Then another student raises her hand. I liked it when Miss Page apologized for saying my name wrong. She said she's going to practice and get it right the next time. Phew! Leo thinks as Miss Perry calls on Lanisha, but then he hears his name. <gasps> oh! So Lanisha says, Leo helped me pick up my block pieces this morning after my city tumbled down. That was kind. Leo opens his eyes. More hands rise into the air. <gasps> I saw Leo picking up a bandage wrapper when he went to the nurse's office. Leo was holding the door open for us at the library, says this kid. And Leo helped me get up when I fell in P.E. Leo opened my lunch for me when I couldn't. Leo stands in wonder. Oh, so, oh my goodness. So maybe Leo doesn't talk too much, but it looks like all the other friends noticed that Leo used his actions, did a lot of kind things to Day. Leo, Miss Perry proclaims, you really know how to be kind in kindergarten. And it's a good reminder that kindness isn't just in the words we say, it's also in what we do. Leo can't believe his ears, while his heart makes the same ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. He feels something else too. This must be what it feels like to be ready for kindergarten. What do you think he's feeling? <laughs> Loud. Confident, excited. At dismissal, so when it's time to go home, Miss Perry says goodbye to each student one by one. She has so many ways to say goodbye. She gets smiles, fist bumps, and even high fives. How do you like to say goodbye, my friends? Thanks. She also thanks each student for helping to make the kindness pledge and for being kind. When it's Leo's turn, he has something to say, even for before Miss Perry can speak. Thank you for being kind, Miss Perry. See you tomorrow. Oh, so he used his words to say something kind. This is Leo on the second day of Kinder Garden. And what do you notice about how Leo's feeling now on this second day? He looks ready, right? He looks really happy to be there, waving. Sometimes he is still quiet, but sometimes he isn't. And no matter what, though, he is always kind. The end. <gasps> what a sweet book reminding us of all the ways to be kind, how to use kind words and do kind things. Here is a copy, my friends. Here is the whole complete kindness pledge that they created. Let's read some of the ones that we didn't get to see yet. So we saw if someone falls down, help them back up. We can say sorry when we make a mistake. Clean up our mess. Help others when they are hurt. Hold the door open for others. These are some things Leo did. Be ready to help when a friend needs it. And think about other people's feelings, right? If you think about other people's feelings, you can help them if they feel sad or know how you can help be kind to them. All right, my friends. So this is a kindness pledge. And maybe think about if you made a kindness pledge with your class and what would you add to your class? Or maybe you are going to make a kindness pledge. This is a book that has a ton of fun ideas. Now, what was one of your favorite parts of this story? I agree. That was a really sweet part. I like the part at the end where all of a sudden everyone was like, oh, Leo did this and Leo did that and really gave Leo a lot of confidence. So that was really kind of them to share the kindness that they noticed. 
Okay, my friends. Well, speaking of kindness pledges, if you and your class are making a kindness pledge, or maybe you want to make your very own too, I have these kindness pledges crafts that you can create where you can write your name here, your kindness pledge, and then it flips open for you to share a picture here. Kindness matters every day. Draw a picture of you being kind. And then different ways where you can be kind. So this is a picture one where you can show four different pictures of ways you promise and pledge to be kind. Or we have this one here. I'm going to open up so Casey's kindness pledge and space for you to draw a picture of you being kind. And then here is a space for you to write some ideas and ways to be kind. At the bottom, you sign your name. You write your name as a way to show that you promise and you pledge to try to be all of these kind things and share kindness every day. So if you're interested in making these kindness crafts, you can make the kindness pledge as a whole class together and then create your own little kindness pledge to remind yourself of all the ways you can be kind. Go ahead and click the link in the description down below to check out this craft. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud. I can't wait to share more stories with you this school year. So if you enjoyed this story, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel for more interactive read alouds. If you want to check out the pledge or share with me your own kindness pledges, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from all of you. And you can find me on all my social media links down there below. Otherwise, my friends, have a wonderful back to school season. And until next time, happy reading.